So, as you can see, we're looking at a badge on something, and as you can see, it says Lowry. Now, before you go any further in the video, pause the video and go in the comments and tell me what do you think this badge is on, because you probably won't be able to guess. Okay, now that you've met, left your comment and uh, you've made your guess, I'm going to tell you what it is. This is a piano. This is actually a stamp on the inside of a harp of a piano. And what's interesting is Lowry didn't technically make this piano. I believe the piano was made by Story and Clark. Lowry just put their name on it. Now you're probably familiar with the Lowry name because Lowry has made organs and I believe they still make organs. They have a very high-end model that actually is still in production today. But the uh, it's uh, this is actual actually a piano and it's actually not a bad piano either. Uh, you might think since it's a, a name that you don't associate with piano, it wouldn't be very good, but it's actually surprisingly very nice. And I will play it for you in just a little bit here. If you look at the inside of the harp, it's a bit unusual of a design. Rather than having round portholes like normal pianos do, they're more of like port rectangles or something. I don't really know what you'd call those, but we have holes to let the sound kind of come out. And there's also more of these port rectangles and triangles and things underneath the bass strings, which I don't usually see in piano, so it's a bit unusual of a design. And then there's also a second badge down here that says Concert Tone, so I'm not sure if that's like the model of this piano or the line of this piano, but it says Concert Tone. And the tone of this piano is actually quite nice and actually rather suitable for a concert. Uh, I'm in a rather large room here that is used at the shop for a bit of a, a recital hall, and this is a very good piano to put in here really because it actually fills the room very nicely with sound and uh, it has a pretty decent sound. Now, if you're interested in coming and seeing this piano for yourself, I'll put the information for the store where I found it in the description down below. But now, let's go take a look at the front of the, front of the piano, and I'll also play it for you so you can get an idea of what the sound is like. So here I am at the front end of the piano, and as you can see, it's a pretty cool looking piano. Now this piano is roughly about from the 1970s, but what's interesting is the finish on it is nearly perfect. There's a few tiny little marks here, but other than that, there's nothing really huge on this piano. Sometimes you see pianos from this era, and they're really beat up and they're quite ugly, but the color of wood on this piano is very nice, and the finish on the piano, as well as the matching bench here, are in very good condition. Now, in a little bit, I'm going to show you a close-up of the Lowry logo because there is one here on the front of the piano as well. Rather than being a decal that's slapped on the piano, it's actually, I think this is a metal plate that is, um, I guess, nailed to the front of the piano. There's two little small nails there. And it's an actual metal plate that's just nailed onto the front of the piano. And I think it's a kind of cool idea. I don't think piano companies really do this anymore, but I do kind of like the idea and it definitely makes it unique. Now I'll take a quick look at the matching bench, you know, uh, it's a bench, so it's, it has your standard features, but I do like this wood design they use in the front, where the uh, the grain kind of meets in like an X shape, and you have the four uh, little lines there. It's a kind of a cool design, and I like it. You also have storage, it's a pretty typical piano bench other than that, but it is a matching bench. You can see the design here on the legs does match that of the piano, as you can see. The piano does have some extra little carving here that the bench doesn't have, but this shape is matching with that, so I believe this is a matching bench. So by now you're probably curious what this piano sounds like, and I'm going to tell you it is a bit bright because it is an older piano, but I think that if the hammers were possibly voiced, and honestly just the way it is at the moment, it has a pretty good sound. Uh, it is brighter, like I said, and uh, especially the mid-range, I think if the mid-range right around this area was toned down just a little bit and voiced, I think this piano would be very nice. The treble is very bright and crystalline and clear, and I'm going to play a particular song that really works well on the treble. And uh, But first I'm going to play an original piece that I wrote to test out the treble of the piano as well as the mid-range. Let you take a listen to what you think of the piano. Like I said, the mid-range and also the bass to a slightly less degree are rather bright, and I think the piano would be really improved if the this area as well as the bass were voiced just a small bit so that when you played them gently, they were mellow, but when you really hit them harder, they would get that bright sound, that bright sound and really uh, project and uh, project into the room. I think that would be really cool, but honestly, as the piano sits, it doesn't sound really all that bad, especially in person, and I think the tone of the piano is very nice. And surprisingly to me, the bass of the piano, as you can see, it's a pretty small piano, but the bass end of the piano it's not bad. It actually is a, it has a much better sound than I really expected that it would, especially considering that the strings are original and the piano is rather small. 
So now let's go back to the treble zone of the piano, and I'm going to play the Davy Jones theme from the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. It actually works well on a great number of instruments like the celesta, organ, and also the piano if the treble is really bright. And this piano has a very bright, sparkly treble, and I think it works particularly well on this piano. So hopefully you enjoy that as well. As you can hear that when you play some small notes in the treble, the rest of the piano really resonates quite well and it honestly sounds pretty good. That song really works well on the treble on this piano. It's very bright, very sparkly, and it's honestly a pretty cool piano. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video of this interesting Lowry piano. I almost said organ there because when you say the word Lowry, you think of organs, but actually there were pianos in the past with the Lowry badge on them. Like I said, from what I understand, this piano was actually made by Story and Clark, and they simply put the Lowry badge on them and were marketed as Lowry pianos. But it's not a bad piano and I honestly kind of like it. It's kind of neat and at the very least it's rather quirky and unusual. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video on this interesting Lowry piano. Uh, you can go check out my channel. I've got lots of videos on pianos. I haven't had a video on a Lowry piano before and I also don't have one on a Lowry organ yet. So if I ever find a Lowry organ, I'll be sure to upload that, especially if it's one of those new models that's supposedly very high-end and very expensive and awesome. So you can go check out my channel. Like I said, I've got lots of videos on pianos and organs. And if you want to subscribe to that, uh, you can. And if you do that, thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.